Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. As always, I'm so happy that you're with me today, mostly because you're studying the Word of the Living God, and that's what these podcasts are about. They're just studying the Bible verse by verse, line by line, and precept upon precept, sometimes even word by word, uh, just to try to gain as much as we possibly can from the Holy Spirit, who is our true teacher of the Bible. We always go to the Lord in prayer as we begin our study, so if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks and praise again for another opportunity to study your word. As we join together, assembled more than two or possibly more, to hear from you. Lord, we sit at your feet and we're ready to learn today from your Holy Spirit, who you promised would guide us into all truth and empower us to live according to that truth. And so all praise and glory should be unto you. And we do just that. We give you praise, honor, and glory today, Lord. And we thank you for your word. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, He Shall Rise in the Resurrection. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 11, verse 24. The apostle John wrote how Jesus told his disciples, Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, to the intent you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Then said Thomas, which is called Didymus, unto his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had lain in the grave four days already. Now Bethany was near unto Jerusalem, about fifteen furlongs off. And many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Mary, or Martha, unto Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever you will ask of God, he will give it to you. Jesus said unto her, Your brother shall rise again. And in chapter 11 of verse 24 of his book, John shared how Martha said to Jesus, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection. Where we read, Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. The verse reads, Martha said unto him. John began with the word Martha, whose name means she was rebellious, said unto him, or uttered, declared, and proclaimed to Jesus the following words. John shared how Martha responded to Jesus' statement about her brother Lazarus rising again with the following words. The verse continues, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. John added the words, I know that he shall rise again, which means I, Martha, understand, perceive, and have knowledge that he, Lazarus, will be raised up and appear another time in the resurrection, or with the rising up again at the last day, which means at the time of the uttermost extreme and final end. John shared how Martha told Jesus she understood that Lazarus would rise again at the final end or resurrection day. When we think through John's words in this verse, we learn how Martha had some sense of the resurrection from the dead for her brother. She knew there was a time in the future when Lazarus would indeed rise from the grave, but this was all she understood. Jesus will answer her in our next verse, but suffice it for now to know there will indeed be a resurrection from the dead, and every person will give an account to God. Paul the Apostle wrote, And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. You can see Hebrews chapter 9, 27 for more about that. And this was the reason Jesus came. Every person who believes and trusts in Jesus will be forgiven of their sins and obtain everlasting life with God. Those who do not believe will stand on their own. And there is none righteous, no, not one, as it says in Romans chapter 3 and verse 10. Next time, John shares how Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.